All right. We're going to go a little bit further, and honestly, we're not going to do a lot of word problems with this, but I want you to understand significant digits. You're going to get this in science. So significant digits are digits measured. They carry meaning about the precision of a measurement. So there are these rules. So keep these handy, and I'll refer back to this, right? All non-zeros are significant. So any number that's not a zero is significant, all right? Zeros between two significant digits are significant. So one and two are significant. For that, zero is also significant. So that would give you three significant digits. All right. Zeros at the end of a number to the right of the decimal are significant. So if I have, and this is one that hits me kind of weird. If I have a decimal and they add zeros to the end, it's significant. Zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit in a decimal are not significant. All right. So if I look on here, the first non-zero um, to the left of the first non-zero in a decimal is not significant. These guys are not significant because it's to the left of the first non-zero digit of a decimal. All right. Zeros at the end of a number without a decimal point are assumed to be not significant. So these, there's no decimal, they're assumed to be not significant. So that's just two significant digits. So here's how you count them. There's really only a couple things you're counting. So with this number, right, this number right here, you count these things. You count non-zeros, so that'd be six, four, and five. Boom, 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 that's three. You count zeros between significant digits. So there's a zero in between six and four. There's one, two, three zeros in between four and five. All right. Zeros to the right of a decimal. And since there's a decimal right there, zeros there, and you're done. Eight significant digits. So we're going to come right here. We're going to do the same thing. Ready? Non-zero digits. I'm going to circle them. One, two, three. There's three non-zero digits. Zeros between them. Well, there's zeros here and here. There is two. Zeros to the right of the N. Right there, there is one. All right. Oop, one. So our significant digits are five, six. And we write it right there. All right. So we're going to practice a couple more and do the same things that we did here. We're going to have those questions. And um, really all we're doing is... Um, that we're saying non-zeros, zeros between, and zeros to the right of the decimal. So here we go. I'm going to do a couple more right here. All right. Um, a student claimed that 0 0.045 and 0 0.0045 have the same number of significant digits. I agree. All right. Because these two... And these two, there's nothing to the right of significant digits, right? They are the last ones that count. You only count significant digits if they're either to the right of the last non-zero digit or between other significant digits. These zeros aren't to the right. These zeros aren't to the right. And they're not in between four and five. All right. So we're going to do what we did on the other page. Ready? We're going to circle all non-zeros. We did. So far, there's two. Any zeros in between, there's no zeros in between. Any zeros to the right after the decimal, none. There's two significant digits. So we have this. We circle all numbers. There's only one, so there can't be numbers in between. And there's nothing to the right of the decimal. There's only one significant digit. All right. I'm going to go right here. All right. So I'm going to circle this one. And then all three of these are to the right of the decimal. And this one's in between significant digits, so it counts as well. So one, two, three, four, five, all five of those count. All right. Now we're going to stop. That's all we're doing. We're not going to go on and do these other ones, right? And um, that's it. Your homework is going to contain these concepts. I will talk to you soon.